Hello students, let's first discuss the question given by me in the last lecture. According to the question, 10 is to power 22 electrons leave the persons here. That means n will be equals to 10 is to power 22. And you know that the charge on an electron is 1.6 into 10 is to power minus 19 coulomb. So, by using quantization formula, Q is equals to Ne, Q will be 1.6 into 10 is to power 3 coulomb. But according to the statement, we have to find out the charge on comp. Therefore, it will be minus 1.6 into 10 is to power 3 coulomb because now the comp has excess of electrons. In the last lecture, we have discussed the Coulomb's law. Now, let's discuss its vector form. Firstly, we will discuss when the two charges are similar. As shown in the figure, consider two point charges Q1 and Q2 placed in vacuum at distance R from each other. As the charges are of same kind, that means either both are positive or both are negative therefore the product of q1 and q2 will be greater than zero and they will repel each other in vector form coulomb's law may be expressed as f12 with vector sign that means force on charge q1 due to q2 and it will be equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1, Q2 upon R square into R21 cap. Here, R21 cap will be equals to R21 vector upon R. That means it is a unit vector in the direction from charge Q2 to Q1. Similarly, F21 vector will be the force on charge Q2 due to Q1. And it will be equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R square into R12 cap. Here R12 cap will be vector R12 upon R and it is a unit vector in the direction from Q1 to Q2. Similarly, when the two charges are unlike that means the product of the charges q1 and q2 will be less than zero and there will be columbian attractive force as shown in the figure and the value of f12 vector will be equals to q1 q2 upon 4 pi epsilon naught r12 multiplied by r12 cap similarly f21 will be q1 q2 upon 4 pi epsilon naught R21 into R21 cap. The importance of expressing Coulomb's law in vector form gives us the additional information about the direction of force. This means that the two charges exert equal and opposite forces on each other. So, Coulombian force obey Newton's third law of motion. Secondly, as the Coulombian force act along F12 vector or F21 vector, that means along the line joining the centers of two charges, so they are central force and the nature of force is conservative. Units of charge. Firstly, in SI system of units, the charge unit is Coulomb. As we know that the force given by Coulomb's law mathematically is Q1 Q2 upon R square into 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So, if in this equation we put Q1 and Q2 as 1 Coulomb and the distance R as 1 meter, then F will be only equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. That means that is equals to 9 into 10 is to power 9 Newton. So, 1 Coulomb is that amount of charge that repels an equivalent similar charge 
with a force of 9 into 10 is to power 9 when placed in vacuum at a distance of 1 meter from it. In CGS system, the unit of charge is known as electrostatic unit of charge or ESU of charge or stat coulomb. One ESU of charge or one stat coulomb is that charge which repels an identical charge in vacuum at a distance of 1 cm from it with a force of 1 dyne. And in electromagnetic CGS system, the unit of charge is ab coulomb or electromagnetic unit of charge. And the relation between the three will be 1 coulomb is equals to 1 by 10 ab coulomb equals to 1 by 10 emu of charge.